What's up guys, Johnny here with Team Legit. We're out here at the field and we've got this Formula One F1 racing wing from Sonic Model ready to go. Uh, just a real quick about my setup. I've got some Spectrum 9 gram Metal Gear servos installed into the wing, uh, in each one of the wings. I've got a Emacs RS 2306 2700 KV motor with a 5x45 prop. I'm running a uh, 4S 1300 and a 35 amp ESC. I do have an L9R in here. All in all, the whole build took me about 35 minutes to get everything kind of dialed in, get all the servos installed, get the motor and ESC hooked up. And uh, we're out here at the field, so we're gonna give it a go. I'm just gonna fly it line of sight for now. I don't have any FPV gear on it. Uh, depending on how well it flies, then I'll go ahead and throw some FPV gear in there. I've got the CG just a little bit front of where it indicates the CG. So uh, I've given myself a little bit of up, up reflex and uh, hopefully it flies good. All right, here goes nothing. I'm gonna go, uh, let's go out here. I'm gonna throw it that direction into the wind and then I'll try to bank a left turn. With this setup, I'm pulling about 520 watts and this thing is definitely a screamer. Surprisingly, that was so uneventful. Look, that's hands off. And the five or six clicks of up trim that I did give it, that thing took off. It flies so good. I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm gonna fly it over here. This is at about half throttle, and uh, it took off very effortless. Um, I didn't really have to trim anything out. I had given myself about six or seven clicks of up trim before I took off. I'm gonna give myself some down trim now because it's climbing. Bring it in for some passes. It's definitely a quick airplane. That thing just took off. I'm still in shock by how fast this thing is. All right, for once, the Chinese sticker labeling naming of the aircraft is true. This thing is truly fast. Throttled off. It glides okay, it doesn't have any bad characteristics as long as you keep it going pretty quick. Let's do some more uh, down the runway passes. I would definitely race this airplane. And I'm actually considering using this for the next coming race. It flies so good. It almost feels like it's got stabilization properties. Two people on horses coming in. See him. I am blown away by this aircraft. Wow. All right, let's bring a low and slow pass down coming into the wind here. It's very reactive. It moves very good. Uh, I don't have any dual rates or expo set up on my uh, radio. It does have a little wag, but you know what? Race planes, they're meant to go fast. They're not meant for smooth camera ships. You think that's pretty fast? That's pretty freaking fast. It's really hard to keep up with it. I'm gonna uh, do some more slow passes here uh, until the uh, horses pass by, we don't want to spook them. Most speed characteristics are pretty good. Um, it is a little bit breezy out here today, so flying in the, into the wind. Let's see how she does inverted. I'm gonna bring it back towards me before I flip it. No problems inverted, just a little bit of pressure forward on the sticks. It literally required very little trim and actually the uh, reflex that I gave it, I had to take it back out. Let's 
hands off. I mean, that's uh, throttled off. Still gliding. Let's do another high speed pass. You didn't get that, did you? Mm -hmm. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to do an implement. I'm going to do it line of sight. So uh, I'm going to pull up right in front of us. Coming straight at us. No problem. Inland end's really nice and clean. I'm going to do that again from a little bit higher up and I'm going to yank back a little bit harder on it. Yep, there is what I was looking for. So it does have a little bit of issues with uh, high speed stalling, so you got to reduce your rates on those implements. Flies real nice. Man, this thing is actually awesome. Let's do some barrel rolls or some. Uh, The roll rate isn't too bad. Just lost it. <laughs> All right, let's do some uh, some more speed passes. I wonder what that battery situation is like. And again, I'm only flying it with a 4S, I believe 1500. Oh, it's time to land. You're about six minutes of flight. I don't want to land. I'm actually really enjoying it. All right, let's go ahead and bring it in for a landing. Uh, I want to do one more test. Let me get some altitude. I want to see how far back I can pull the stick before it pops out. There it goes. It recovers really nice, but uh, pulling the sticks back more than two thirds will get it to pop out. And when I say pop out, we're talking about a, a hyper stall. This is throttled off this whole time. Coming in a little bit hot. Throttled off burn off some of that speed and altitude. A little bit wobbly at slow speeds and it is windy again. <laughs> that is a fast aircraft. So I was flying it with a 4S 1500, uh, I think 70C battery with the Emacs Power set up, 2700 kV. The motor is warm, but it's not like too hot for me to hold on to it. Let's check the ESC's temp, if I can get in there. The battery is barely warm. Not really that warm at all, actually. And then uh, I don't think I can get back there to the ESC. All right guys, just got done flying this Formula One F-Wing. This is definitely an awesome wing. It's very fast. It's very inexpensive to get into wing racing. Uh, if you guys have not tried wing racing yet, this is definitely a good entry level wing. We don't have a price for it yet, but as soon as we do, we'll have these available for us on the website. Um, I am definitely going to be picking one of these up for myself to race at the next event coming up here. Uh, but all in all, this is a good aircraft. I was very skeptical about how it was going to perform. And now we're out here at the field with just one battery pack through it. I can already tell it's a very nice, fast, smooth, and stable aircraft. It does have a little bit of wobbles, but that's okay because it's a race wing and I'm not looking to get amazing footage. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put some FPV gear in this aircraft and uh, you should see me racing this soon. With Team Legit, I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the like button and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in FPV to get another battery this thing is awesome we've got another exciting product for you guys this is the nano talon fit for the tail section you literally just slide it in make sure that your control rods line up and all you need to do now is install your electronics and you're ready to fly 
Let's show you guys the contents of the inside here. 